The uh, cameras are not there. Okay. <laughs> Rolling and action. One word that can describe Hansel perfectly is fun, I think. My name is Sahandi Saputra. I am one of Hansel's closest friends. I know him since junior high school years. He likes to make his own language, like Chikala Chikala Mengkong. That doesn't mean anything. That just sounds funny, you know. I think he is quite a shy guy, I think. My name is Irfan Loria. I know Hansel from the kindergarten school. We've become really close because we share the same jokes. <laughs> Hi, my name is Andrew Chandra Winata. We've met since seventh grade in junior high school. Now we are become a best friend. We don't need many friends, but we need true friends, right? <laughs> from the outside, people will think Hansel is a pretty cold person, but if you have known him for a long time, you know it, that he is a very talkative person. Hansel is a really big fan of Iron Man. Iron Man. Iron Man, obviously. He is a good listener, and I think he is a good motivator too. Passionate guy. Family is number one in his life. Hansel's strength, I think he quite know what he wants and he pursue it until he got it. Hi, my name is Shanes and I'm 31 years old. I am Hansel's sister, the only one. <laughs> he doesn't give up very quickly. He's a very awesome person. My name is Griffin Sanjaya and I'm the brother of Hansel Ferdinand. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty close to my brother. Back when I was a child, always sucks because Hansel is the youngest kid in the family and he always get the special treat from the parents. Nama saya Hari Sanjaya. Saya ayah dari Hansel Ferdinand. Kerjaan saya wira swasta bergerak di bidang money changer. Saya Prinsia Chandra. Saya ibu dari tiga orang anak, Shanes, Griffin, dan Hansel. Hansel anak saya yang paling bungsu. Dulu saya bekerja mengajar musik dan sekarang sudah pensiun. His parents think about the Counter Strike as just a game back then. Playing game is just wasting time, wasting money, and no future. People in Indonesia basically think that gaming is really, really bad. People should attend school and then attend it, a university and then get a job get a proper job. Sebelum Hansel main e-game, e-sport, saya berharap Hansel bisa menjadi seorang businessman. Tapi semua ini Tuhan yang membuka jalan sehingga bisa Hansel bisa ada sampai pada hari ini. Thank you Jesus. Terima kasih Tuhan Yesus. Oke, Hansel is a very, very religious person and every single game, if you have attention to them, he's uh, praying like this in every game he plays. Yeah, actually, my parents always told us that we have to pray for everything we do. I think he gave uh, all his first salary to the church. He is Christian. In Indonesia, we have a 95% Muslim, like, What's that sound? There's a mosque close to us. My name is Richard Permana. I've, uh, I'm the former in-game leader of Hansel. And currently I'm working for Team NXL as the CEO and also the Indonesian Esports National Team Manager for SEA Games. I met him first time. Uh, at the game center in Purinda. He's very, a very skinny guy, and I've heard a lot from my friends that he's very good. Uh, his character is very childish. He's a very funny guy. When we do jokes, he always say it like this, like, gaming is in the detail. Like that, he always say it like that. 
He's just a normal guy that has no social life. Uh, my name is Aditya Leonard, and I've known Hansel for 10 years now. We play together in a cyber cafe. It's very common in Indonesia to play in internet cafe because not everyone has a PC in their home because building a good PC uh, requires a lot of money. So we like to play internet cafe eight hours a day. I think back then Hansel and Griffin would tell, would tell my parents that they're spending their times at their friend's house. But you knew and you, you didn't say anything? Yeah. He liked to play 1v5 versus us. And he said, we still lost. <laughs> He's that good. There is one night where my brothers didn't come home uh, until late time and my parents got so very freaking stressful and worried until finally one of their friends told my parents that they uh, they were in the internet cafe and actually my dad my dad pick, picked them up there and they were like fall asleep at the internet cafe <laughs> actually back then i didn't realize many things about Counter Strike and his life about his life for the game thing, but there come one one time when the China team gave him offering. When he got offer from Tailu, I think it was a very good momentum for him to take that chance. He need to take that chance, one hundred percent. And that time I realized that he actually making a difference in this esport. I think he is one of the first, like a first person going abroad to a professional gaming team in China. Hansel doesn't speak Mandarin at all, you know. Yeah, it's very difficult for him, but with that difficulty on that team, he still managed to win some games. I think he has been in China for over than two years right now, and he knows some vocabulary in Chinese. So I think he makes some Chinese, and some English. When he moved to China, when he got quite popular in Indonesia, uh, girls start noticing him and start to DM through Instagram. And he kind of shocked, like, oh my God, what, what I gotta do? Hansel with the girl, he's a very, 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 very shy guy. He's going abroad a lot, so he doesn't have the time to find the right one. And then he decided not to reply the girls because it it distract him from playing the game. So he chose the game over the girls. We can expect more from him because he always loves Counter-Strike and he plays more than the other players. I wish we have a long, good relationship in the future. Though we, we have different paths in life. I feel proud to be his big sister. Every decision he made, I always support 100%. I, I never doubt my brother. I think he is the best Counter-Strike player in Asia and in the world for me as his friend. I think he is the best player in the world. You are great, Hansel.